Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, July 10th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. One across. After dinner coffee order. I imagine if it's late at night you'd want to order decaf. Let's see if we can build off of this. Train stop. That could be a depot. Jet black. Maybe that's ebony. Let's see if that's right. Expressions of gratitude in texts. Yeah, that's going to be thank yous. And it's this abbreviated version because they asked for in texts. Yeah, it's going to be informal. Alternative to Pepsis. It's got to be Cokes. Pub Brews. Could be Ales. Momentous. Hmm. What's another word for Momentous? Virus in 2014 news. That's definitely Ebola. Coveted March Madness slot. I think you'd want to be a one seed, right? Okay, let's see what our first long across is. This might be our first theme answer. Antagonize a powerful figure. I think if you do that, you're said to poke the bear. Okay, we've got a bear in our first theme answer. Momentous. Hmm. I'm still not sure what this is going to be. Captain's place. That would be at the helm. Stepped on it. Hmm. I would want this to be sped, but that's way too short. Hmm. I'm not sure. Winter bugs. This is almost a little bit of a misdirection. It kind of sounds like this is talking about an insect that's around in the winter, but I think they're talking about the kind of bug that can make you sick. Yeah, like influenza. It's going to be flus, plural because they asked for bugs, plural. So maybe this is sped up. There we go. And it has to be sped up in the past tense because the clue's in the past tense. Puts in an overhead bin, say. I guess that stows. San Diego ball player. It's the San Diego Padres, but they're just asking for one ball player, so it'll be a Padre. So we have a tab. Bar bill, that's right. I wonder if we played Skittles at the bar. Poetic tributes, that's got to be odes. Disposable parts of grocery purchases. It's looking like that's going to be wrappers. It might have multiple seasons. Maybe that's a television series. Secretly observed. I think that has to be spied on. Belly rub recipients often. It's definitely pets. Gasoline additive. Oh man, what is this? It's not ethane, is it? Is it ethanol? I don't really know that much about gasoline. Blank vera gel. Yeah, that's aloe vera gel. Word with bean or blue. Uh, there's navy bean and navy blue. All right, wander around. That should be Rove. Locksmith Supply. They would have a lot of keys, right? What's our next theme answer here? Become absurdly outlandish as a TV show. This has got to be Jump the Shark, like in Happy Days. Okay, so it looks like we're doing actions to animals here. Poke the bear, jump the shark, yeah. Speech jumble. You could call that word salad, right? Okay. West Coast gas brand. I wonder if they add ethanol. Did they still have SO on the West Coast? I thought that was just a Canada thing. Let's see if this is SO. Prospectors find. Okay, that's not right. That should be or. Hmm. What is this? I'm not sure if I'm going to know this. Longtime electronics company. And because we have an abbreviation in our clue, that means our answer needs to be abbreviated. I wonder if it's going to be RCA. Yeah. And maybe this is Arco. I think I have heard of that. University official. 
That would be a Dean. So we have a Wad, a Glob of Chewing Gum, that's right. Snoopy's alter ego in sunglasses. His name is Joe Cool, right? <laughs> okay. So this is Fateful? Man, that would not have been my first guess there. It gets all wound up. Would that be a spool? Are they talking literally? Camera types for short. That could be single lens reflex cameras. Winnie the Pooh. Field of vision. And this is wordplay. That's indicated by this question mark here. What we have to do with wordplay clues is a look for a punny answer. So this is not gonna be about everything you can see, not that kind of field of vision. I think this is gonna be about a professional field that deals with vision. That should be optometry, right? Nice, that is a perfect Monday wordplay clue. So we have lope, run easily, that's right. ROTC, Campus Military Org, that's correct. And we're gonna have our next theme answer here, chat idly. Okay, so we know this has to be an action, the animal, right? So maybe this is gonna be shoot the bull. Nice, these are all great phrases. Walked angrily. Um, I want it to be stomped or stamped. The fault in our stars. Okay, so I think it has to be stomped. Place with many airline connections. That would be a big airport. That would be a hub. Young sheep, those are lambs. Incense residue, incense leaves behind ash. Reveals inadvertently. That really should be a let's slip. Okay, nice. We're working towards our last theme answer here. Mose scale, measure of hardness. I think we saw a talc like a week or two ago. Robberies. Um, I guess that would be thefts, right? Okay. Eternal. It's looking like it's going to be ageless. Helping crime. If you do that, you abet someone. Bike part with teeth. That's gotta be the gear, right? So we have a bet, put money on. And when you have a word in parentheses at the end of your clue, that means that same word needs to be able to go at the end of your answer. So bet on sounds good. An ear is a body part with a drum. That's right. Give it the old college try. Yep, that sounds good too. Trade without money. If you do that, you barter. Nice. Home of Brigham Young University. I believe that is in Utah. What might be arranged after one swipes right. I guess we're maybe talking about a dating app. That would be a date. Message concealers. Yeah, that could be codes. Just like the cipher puzzle we had a couple of weeks ago. Samuel Langhorn Clemens, Mark Twain's real name. Nice, okay. Sheena is a punk rocker band. Uh, I don't know. I don't really recognize this song, but it looks like it has to be the Ramones, right? Nice, okay. In memoriam piece informally. Uh, you would write an obituary after someone dies, so this could be an obit informally. Singer Baker. Hmm. I'm not sure if I know this singer. Cash dispenser in brief. That would be an ATM. Is this Anita? That sounds familiar. I'm gonna try Anita here. Let's see if that helps. The N of TNT. TNT stands for trinitrotoluene. So this will be nitro. Sticks around. That stays. Cloth for a sweatband. That would be Terry Cloth. Windows Forerunner. Yeah, that was MS DOS. I still remember when that was the main operating system in use. Man, that was a long time ago. Okay, so I have a feeling I know what our last theme answer is going to be. 
This one looks like it's gonna be pretty cheeky. Gesture rudely in a way. Yeah, that is gonna be flip the bird. That's a really spicy one to end on, I love it. Okay, let's finish up here. Trig function, that could be sign. Blank tour. I want that to be PGA tour, the golf tournaments. So let's see, this is tinge, touch of color, that's right. And this will be a spear, an asparagus unit. Yeah, nice. All right, well, let's throw this A in there and see if that'll do it for us. All right, a Monday puzzle in just under 14 minutes. This was a cheeky little theme. All of our theme answers start with an action, and then we're doing that action to an animal. We have poke the bear, jump the shark, shoot the bull, and flip the bird. These are all really great phrases. And there was some nice fill on top of this theme also. I really loved word salad. And also joke cool is kind of funny to see. And this was a really nice little Monday wordplay clue. Field of vision for optometry. Yeah, that's great. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed shooting the bull with me during this Monday solve. I'm gonna be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle. And I think that's gonna do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time. Thank <music> you.